Hey Polars! Welcome to my YouTube channel, Eileen here with a new poll tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to do caterpillar. This is an intermediate trick and you must be able to do an inverted crucifix to be able to do this trick. Let's get on the pole. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is do an inverted crucifix. So we're going to do an inversion into an inverted crucifix. And then we're going to position one hand in front of our mouth and the other one in front of our belly button. And from there, we're going to bring the hips up slide the legs up and then repeat this sequence several times until we are all the way up. So going for that inversion into that inverted crucifix. From here, as I said, you're going to get one hand in front of your mouth and the other one in front of your belly button. And the one that goes in front of your mouth is going to go on a full bracket and the other one is going on a cat grip. From here, we're going to bring the hips up. So keeping the legs engaged, we're going to push away from the pole with the bottom arm and bring our hip up. From here, we're going to take this arm into a forearm grip and then slide the legs up and then repeat. Bringing the bottom arm to our mouth, the top arm to our belly button, bringing the hips up, keeping the legs as they are, sliding into that forearm and then sliding the legs up. All right, let's see it now a little faster so that you really see how this goes when you go faster. I did it really slow now so that you could understand where each hand goes, how you gotta slide your hips up, keep the legs engaged, and then slide the legs up, and all the sequence I just showed you. So now let's see it a little faster so that you can actually spot the caterpillar going with a little more flow. So again, inverting to that inverted crucifix, I'm going to face you sideways now. So starting with the hand on the mouth, the other one on the belly button, and I'm going to go a little faster than the previous one that I showed you. All right, so as I said, the most important part is starting on that inverted crucifix and keeping one hand in front of your mouth and the other one in front of your belly button, and then pushing yourself up, keeping the legs engaged. Always keep those legs engaged until you reach with your arms. Once you keep your hips up, you change that grip of the arm into a forearm grip and then you can slide the legs up. Only when you grip on that forearm, you can slide the legs up and then keep going. And you can do as many as you want all the way up and you can also do it down, just reversing everything. And remember to do both sides. So try on the other side as well. It might be a little deep difficult but just do your best and when you do your other side you should switch your arms so instead of going up with the one you were using at the bottom and the one you were using up just reverse the arms and do the opposite way around it's super important to keep those legs engaged as I said keep them all the time engaged until you just light them you're always either gripping on your legs or gripping on your arms or gripping on both but you're never not gripping on one of those so make sure that you're gripping on your legs when you slide your arms up you're gripping on your arms when you slide the legs up and just keep doing that and keep your body engaged so that you are controlled and you can do as many as you can at the beginning just do it really slowly don't rush yourself just concentrate on the movement coordinating the arms and the hands and when you get the hack of it just do it faster and you can do it just like i showed you on the second time all right polars so i hope that you learned how to do the caterpillar i'm sure that you're going to nail this trick and i hope that you like this video and if you did please give it a like subscribe to my channel turn on the notifications and drop in the comments all the feedback or questions that you have for me as always i am happy to connect with you all through any social media so please feel free to reach out i hope you all have a wonderful day and i hope i will see you soon on my next video